Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today it's time for another perfume review and I'm gonna be talking about a perfume that I have been wearing endlessly for the past few weeks and that is Aqua de Parma Umbra. This is the packaging that it comes in. You can see it's beautiful, round, definitely um, untraditional I think. I find most packaging is very boxy and this is not. And then when you open it, this is what's inside. Here's the bottle. Uh, this is a 100 ml that I have here, and I've had this perfume for a couple of years, I think. I think I got it in 2018, so about two and a half years. So Aqua de Parma Umbra. Personally, I was very intimidated by this perfume before I smelled it. I thought that the Umbra or Ambra referred to Amber, which I am not really a huge fan of, um, amber has kind of honey, vanilla, resiny, very sweet kind of undertones and everything turns sweet on my skin so I don't really love that. But the umbra in this refers to ambergris which is totally different. Ambergris is more um, mineral, it has a kind of aquatic qualities, salty kind of uh, vibe and that is what umbra refers to in Aqua de Parma Umbra. So if you're unfamiliar with Aqua de Parma, it's a very sophisticated, very elegant perfume brand. A lot of their fragrances are eau de colognes or eau de toilettes, and not a lot of them are eau de parfums, which is what I have here. Um, this was part of a line that was launched that focused on single ingredients. So there was an oud, there was um, sandalwood, and this one focused on ambergris. Um, there's probably a little bit of amber in here, but umbra was the focus of this one. So um, it has citrusy opening notes for sure. So bergamot, um, which is very fresh, and then it really is a rose patchouli scent. And I personally love rose patchouli. I can't get enough of it. And so that's what this is. It's very sophisticated, very feminine because of the rose. And then the rose patchouli kind of dies down into sandalwood and the sandalwood in this is very smoky. I can actually smell the smokiness of it right here. It's very smoky and then the ambergris kind of makes it more of a skin scent. So I find that this doesn't have a lot of projection for me, one spray very wears very close to my skin. Uh, nobody else around me can really smell it unless they're really up close to me. And for that reason, I find that this would be a perfect office scent or it would be a perfect scent for um, the daytime if you're gonna be around a lot of people and you don't want to really make an entrance. And really, that is um, really dependent on people's personality, right? Some people like to have more of um, an impact when they come into a room and they like their fragrance to do that speaking for them and other people like for their fragrance to be closer to their skin which is fine I love a scent that's close to the skin because I'm always um, worried about offending people with how strong something is so I don't mind a skin scent I think that that's great and um, yeah I kind of like this it's very like I said it's very sophisticated very very elegant so if that's something that you need in your fragrance ward Wardrobe, then this would be perfect for you. If you like rose patchouli, then this would be great. Um, it's very, like I said, uh, it doesn't, it's not a brash fragrance. It's not in your face because of the smokiness and the sandalwood. It really just smells beautiful and soft, but it's still there, you know? It still has a presence, which is awesome. It's also great for if you're working at home and you're just by yourself, which I know a lot of us are these days. You know, it's a scent that you'll definitely be able to smell on yourself, especially if you spray it, you know, in the corner of your elbow or um, close to your face, you'll be able to smell it yourself, but most other people around you, I don't think will be able to smell this. I find that it has great lasting power on me. I can wear it definitely eight to 10 hours and still smell it at the end of the day if I spray it in my hair I can smell it until I wash my hair which I love I think that that's great and so yeah not a cheap fragrance for sure I know in Canada 100 ml is $330 but for me if I smell good I feel good and then if I feel good I'm nicer so <laughs> I don't mind spending money on a scent that 
I like and just I can smell, especially if it's not going to offend anyone else around me. So I love it. This is definitely one of my favorite perfumes. I have to say I love it so much. And yeah, check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time. Bye.